guys welcome back to another video or welcome if you are new and if you are new on this channel I like to talk about beauty hair fashion and health related topics so if you are interested in any of those make sure to subscribe to my channel before you head out for today's video I'm going to be unboxing a new pair of Christian Louboutins that I just purchased and I wanted to unbox it with you guys before I wore them so I'm sure you know what the shoes are already by looking at the title and or the thumbnail that I'm going to use for this video so if you're interested in seeing these I make sure you guys stay tuned all right you guys so i did purchase myself a new pair of lubes this was completely unexpected i did not think i was going to be buying anything yesterday i went to the outlets in desert hills so some of you guys aren't familiar there's an outlet maybe like an hour and a half two hours away from los angeles which is where i'm at right now and it's called desert hills and they have a ton of different designer stores in those outlets and they always have really good deals in the outlets they have added a christian louboutin store and the sales associate let me know that it's the only one in the world so the thing about outlets you have to be careful about is that sometimes these designers will make items specifically for that outlet store and then sometimes you have designers that will produce pieces that go in their normal stores around the world and once they don't sell they get shipped to the outlet itself they're all genuine products made by the designer themselves but some of them you can only find in outlets and then some of them come from the actual stores that get shipped to the outlets i know a lot of times people try their best to avoid items that are made specifically for outlets so if you're not well versed in what a designer usually makes and what's usually in the stores or on their websites you just have to be really careful when you go into an outlet you may be able to ask an essay and get it answered but otherwise you do risk purchasing a piece that's made specifically for an outlet but to some you know that might not even be a big deal but the christian louboutin store at this outlet is one of the designers that gets their items shipped from the different stores around the nation possibly around the world had i known i was going to purchase something i definitely would have vlogged it for you guys and created like a shop with me video but i really was not expecting to buy anything i went with something in mind in the gucci store didn't see it so I didn't vlog it at all but I did end up going into the Christian Louboutin store and saw something that I fell in love with and it's actually been in my cart for a while but I just never pulled the plug because I didn't want to pay full price and if you have checked out my other videos you know I don't pay full price for my designer items so first things first I always try to catch a sale I always try to save a coin but anyways let's go ahead and get into this unboxing all right so this is the bag it came in just the standard Christian Louboutin bag and of course we have the standard Christian Louboutin box so I have this Christian Louboutin box and then they also included the receipt and on the receipt I'm thankful for this because it listed the original price and the price that I got it for and I could not for the life of me remember what the original price was so the original price for these shoes was $745 and after tax it would have come out to $802.74 so I was able to get a $300 discount and the price that I purchased these shoes for was $447 so one of the sales associates in the store did let me know that all of their shoes are 40% off and they did have a nice selection of shoes so I ended up getting a pair my boyfriend ended up getting a pair but these are the pair that I got. So it comes in that typical standard Christian Louboutin box. This is the tag right here. You can see these are the Corderella 110 millimeters. And this is a size 39. I tried it on in the store. I tried a 38 and a 39 because I am a size eight and a half. So I'm right in the middle. Should be 38 and a half. But these shoes only come in whole sizes. She let me know that. So I went with the 39. All right, so now let's actually unbox them. So if I take the lid off, I do have two dust bags right here and a little pouch. So this is a typical dust bag. So this is what it looks like, just a standard Christian Louboutin bag. And these shoes are a bit more chunky. They have a little bit more mass than their typical heels. So they definitely gave me two of these, one for each shoe. So I have that one and then the other one right here same thing and then they also gave me this little pouch and if I open it she included a bunch of different studs so this shoe does have studs that come around the trim of the base of the shoe and then across the ankle strap and I'm considering getting one of the studs removed just so that it can have a better fit on my ankle 
but in the event a stud falls off or something gets scratched and you need to replace it you do have an assortment of studs here with a variety of different sizes people are always trying to be careful whenever they're wearing christian louboutin just so they don't stuff anything but anything can happen so it's good that they gave me a backup of different sized studs just based on the few things that i've unboxed so far i already feel like this experience was so much better than the other Christian Louboutin heels that I unboxed on my channel a while ago. I'll link that video for you guys right here if you haven't seen that unboxing. Okay, moving on to actually unboxing the shoe. I know I keep talking, but this is the box, of course, and the paper. So these are the shoe. Let me take this out. So this is the shoe. This is the front, the inside of the shoe. This is the front. And then this is the back, this is the strap. Now for me, I do have thin ankles and when I said I plan on getting a stud removed, it was probably going to be this stud right here because I need it to come up a little higher just so I can have a tighter feel on this ankle strap. So I may have to get one hole added and one stud removed just so that it fits how I would like it to fit. But other than that, this shoe is so perfect. I know I say that about every designer shoe that I buy, but I just am in love with all these shoes. And I know this is not a classic style like I usually talk about on my channel. I love to get in classic pieces because they're timeless and I know I'm not wasting my money purchasing those items. But this one definitely is not a classic. But it is something that I know for a fact I would wear all the time because this color is in my wardrobe and I find myself wearing browns, nudes, earth tone kind of colors all the time. So I know I would definitely get my wears and my uses out of this shoe. So I have absolutely no regrets buying this. I'm so glad I saw this. This is something that has been in my cart for a while and I'm just so glad that I saw it on sale so I was able to get it. So as you can tell, this is a bit more flashy than the type of shoes or luxury items that I usually get but that's okay with me because this color I just absolutely love this shade of brown and then the gold accent I always have gold jewelry on so it just brings out the gold overall in the outfit so I'm 100% satisfied with this I would recommend this shoe and another thing they're comfortable and that's another thing that maybe want to purchase these so because they are a wedge I can wear them a lot longer than your standard heels. I love wedges and I always have, always will, but heels for me typically have a one to two hour time limit on my feet, but wedges I can wear all day long. Like I can really wear these day in and day out without a problem. So love these shoes and I don't know if I showed the bottom, but these are the bottoms of the shoe. This is a size 39, it says made in Spain underneath and it has the Christian Louboutin logo perfectly centered in the middle and I love this woven pattern around the ankle I think that it fits perfectly because it kind of breaks up that leather so there's not too much it's not overpowering and yet it's still within the same color scheme of things so also has that gold accent that same gold accent so I'm definitely here for this shoe also along the bottom above and below the studs you do have another woven piece and it sits on top of a metallic kind of reflecting lining that goes around the bottom of the shoe and then you have three rows of studs that go across the toe area so this is just a really stunning shoe overall i am just deeply in love with it so glad that i got it for a discount 447 after tax i think it came out to 481 something like that so absolutely love it and i do want to show you guys what it looks like on so if i can put an outfit together really quick just to show you guys something simple something basic just to show you that even though some may consider this a loud kind of shoe i still think it can pair perfectly with simple pieces that are in my closet so yeah i definitely can see myself wearing this all the time very happy with my purchase and yeah that's pretty much it so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i do try to pop in and out with luxury items as i purchase them so if you guys are into luxury designer items at all make sure you subscribe to my channel i post every single sunday about beauty hair fashion and health related topics so if you're into any of those make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out off the top of my head i know i have a couple of more luxury videos coming your way so stay tuned for those other than that i will see you guys next weekend bye guys